Greenpeace International has released CCTV footage that shows six masked men hopping a fence and breaking into Greenpeace offices in the northern Russian city of Mormansk on the 18th of October. The environmental group says that a mock cage was stolen, which activists had planned to use during a protest at the courthouse, where the 30-member crew of a Greenpeace ship are being held on charges of piracy. The crew is known as the Arctic 30. Last month, their boat, the Arctic Sunrise, was raided and seized by the Russian Coast Guard during a Greenpeace protest against a giant Russian oil company's plans to drill in the Arctic. Later on, dozens of activists met in Moscow and Mormansk to demand the release of the Arctic 30. The protesters held up signs, and some even wore polar bear costumes to bring attention to the 30 jailed environmentalists who face up to 15 years in jail. The Greenpeace group claims the piracy charges are absurd and unfounded. Through the charges, it appears Moscow has sent a message that it will not tolerate any disruptions to its development of Arctic resources. The Greenpeace ship had been sailing under the Dutch flag, and ever since the raid, relations between Russia and the Netherlands have taken an odd turn. The Netherlands has launched legal action to free the activists. Foreign Minister Franz Timmermans says the charges are unlawful and that the Netherlands has applied to the UN's Tribunal for the Law of the Sea to resolve the issue. A Dutch diplomat has said that two men posing as electricians jumped him at his Moscow apartment, tied him up with tape, and then beat him. The men had reportedly drawn a heart with lipstick around the Russian language equivalent of the LGBT, an acronym for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. Russia has recently been rated as the hardest country for gay people to live in, after the government passed a law that forbids citizens from talking about homosexuality with anyone under the age of 18. Russian President Vladimir Putin was met in Amsterdam earlier in the year with a gay pride parade that saw activists wave pink and orange balloons to protest against Russia's anti-gay propaganda laws, which has sparked international criticism.